Welcome, Collider fans, to the Walking Dead recap show. We are back for another week of talking about The Walking Dead, episode 12, season 6, Not Tomorrow Yet. It's not tomorrow yet. It's today, and we want to talk about the show. Uh, we have so much to cover. So much happened tonight. They attack the Saviors. They attack what they think is Negan's, what, TV satellite place? It was so <laughs> insane. There's so much that happened, and there was a lot of relationship stuff that we're going to get to. So there's so much for us to cover. But let's uh, let's go around the table and introduce ourselves to you all. Hey, I'm John Roca, and to my left. Hey, guys, what's up? I'm Quinn Marie. Excited to talk about the show again. <laughs> and to my right. Always excited to talk the show. Hello. Corey to in the house. And the wild man. You guys can call me uh, Dingleberry. <laughs> <laughs> I, <Okay>. will. <laughs> I will call you Dingleberry. Well, from now on, You're that's welcome. gonna stick. That yeah. should have been the, well, that should have been the name of the episode, right? Yes. Dingleberry. Why are Dingleberries, Dingleberries brown? Why are Dingleberries yeah. brown? Yeah. Man, that's the, that's, that was the most that was the most straight up cold breakup scene I've ever, ever seen. seen. Like ever yeah. seen. And then he basically tells her he's like. When I found you, I thought you were the only woman in the world, but now there's other chicks. So uh, take yeah, a you could have just yeah. said, you know what? I'm not feeling it anymore. Yeah. Like, I don't know how I met someone else. I'm going through something. But some he things. is Abraham. Yeah. It yeah. is Abraham. I really need to find yeah. myself. Yeah. 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 No. He was get vicious. Vicious. Yeah. Anyway, but that, that was like pretty much, there was a lot of relationship stuff that happened in the first like 40 minutes of the, the show. The whole episode was love and murder. Yeah, mm -hmm. like that was those that, that was like the two themes. That's a good point. People hooking Love up, people getting murdered. murdered. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <and murder>. yeah. <laughs> well, we started off uh, with a song called "Poro Shine." Weeds are wildflowers, and we see Carol, you know, like picking stuff out. Or oh wait, as you all know, we're gonna talk about the show. We're gonna talk about what we like, what we didn't like, and then we'll get to your Twitter questions. There you go. Y'all know how this works. Format. Anyway, Carol. Done rummaging through picking out stuff like making cookies and the last time you know there was a whole relationship to sam about the cookies so it was an interesting way to start this whole thing like she's yeah. being a all of a sudden it's this weird change in carol so there's so much to cover let's just talk about what we like what we didn't like uh McCook, you want to start us off yeah no i thought uh i really didn't know that we were going to get as much action as we did tonight Dude. i honestly mm -hmm. thought that like a lot of the episodes was going to be leading up to getting to the compound yeah. the fact that we went through the entire raid i thought we were like christmas morning like we got bonus gifts today mm -hmm. because the way the episode started out you're right it was like carol you know going back to like caveman times like men hunt women gather kind mm -hmm. of thing and i'm yeah. like i don't know she's making these cookies kind of thing which I, you know, I'm, I'm really on the fence about all these relationships starting. So I don't know if I like it or I don't. Yeah. But the fact that we got, I mean, the raid scene may be like top 10 scenes in this entire show. That was just awesome. Yep. Yeah, 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 awesome. for sure. Yeah. What else did you, what else did you like? I, you know, finally everybody's killing. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's kind of sad to see that it has reached that point where everyone's killing and then that the, the, a certain part of innocence is gone. But right. survival of the fittest. So, right. I mean, it has to reach that point where in season six. Evolve but, or die. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, what'd you like, Kari? I actually am... I'm not a romantic person, but I did like that every. I know everyone's like, "What?" I hate love. I hate love. <laughs> I'm, that's why I'm, I'm not a all fan of today, love. But, yeah. um, I'm afraid I have some bad news. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, Shout but, out to um, Wade Barrett. Yeah. I uh, actually really enjoyed the, all the romance and the, even the movement of how Abraham is falling for another woman, and Sasha, they, yeah. this happens like in the midst of this apocalypse. There's still romance involved, and that's really like almost a last human thing left because everyone is killing each other, right? Mm -hmm. So we have Carol, who you think can't really love someone or is just desensitized to feelings and natural human things falling for another guy. And I don't know how strong she feels for him, but I think yeah. she wanted even just that moment of touch. And I like that because you, for a second there, you get a glimpse of Carol being like softer. And mm -hmm. I, I, I miss that about Vulnerable, her. if yeah. you will. You know? Well, and because there's got to be human, you, there has to be human emotions in this show because yeah. we are basically at our lowest common denom yeah. denominator right now. It's kill or mm -hmm. be killed yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, the restart of the world. And the fact that they are like kind of breaking it down, I do. that's why I'm on the fence about it. Like it can't just be all war and stabbing in the temple. Right. Right. Exactly. So, I mean, I don't necessarily think that Carol's relationship is going to last, but even just a moment to feel again is something that was kind of nice. Yeah, I think, it's, yeah, I think it's also because yeah. this show doesn't do a lot of romance. Once in a while, I mean, like, like Glenn and Maggie and there's been, you know, Rick has had some, but it's rare that they'll put so much in one episode. I think that's yeah. why we're kind of like, you know, because first it was like Abraham and then it was Tara and the doctor and then it was, well, then before it was Rick and Michonne and, you know, there's just so much you're being like kind of inundated with couples and hookups and, and love and we're just not used to that. I yeah. think that's kind of why we're just like, I'm not mad at it. I just, 
this is a new thing. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I think a lot of us kind of was were hoping for um, some kind of Carol, uh, Daryl union yeah. in some way. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, what, is, what does Tobin have that <laughs> Daryl doesn't have? Tobin, <laughs> Availability? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's around? And also Tobin seems stable. Stable. He's oh, got that, a house. Yes, building. My you, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, some ladies like that security. But have you so. seen Daryl's arms? Daryl's, you know, like true. Tobin's the guy at the bar who's like really nice and everybody enjoys and Carol sees it. Daryl's the guy that smokes cigarettes on the corner and kicks the jukebox and the song comes on. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? So like, the bad boy. The bad boy. You, like, go, you go home with Daryl. You, 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 you stay. Marry where, you marry Correct. Tobin. Right. Correct. But yeah, um, another thing that I really enjoyed um, was finally seeing, I guess, Negan's hideout and all these people Possibly. getting killed. And yeah. I... It was. It's a sudden shift for the remaining episodes that we have left moving forward. So I'm mm-hmm. expecting the rest of the season to be just intense, quick, just like the last 20 minutes. And were of this super episode. sad, yeah. I yeah. think. Yeah. yeah. Um, I liked. I was a little bit nervous because at the beginning, I hate when Rick and the crew are get like overconfident. It makes yeah. me scared, and I get yeah. nervous. So when they were talking about, yeah, we're just gonna kill them. We're gonna just pop in there, kill some people, and then pop out. Mm-hmm. I was just like, oh god, they're being overconfident. Right. So I loved that when they got in, it was just. Super well-oiled machine. Mm-hmm. They all pulled their weight. They all did what they had to do. I mm-hmm. love seeing when the group uh, pulls together so well and like has each other's backs so well. Like that makes me feel warm inside. Makes me feel super warm when they when they <laughs> successfully kill yeah. a bunch yeah. of people. Yeah, makes me. Happy. I really thought they should have blown up the compound. Well, I don't know if they had the I think ambition they wanted to their blow stuff, it up. Right? Yeah, they yeah. wanted the armory. They wanted to get all that stuff out. It basically, that's it's it's it, if that's the entry point, then you've got in essence a base. Correct. So if they could, if they were going to station people there, that's a good way to start it out because it's right at the entrance of what they think is the entrance of the compound, of the right. huge compound. I mean, I also maybe I watch too many action movies, but blowing up a building doesn't necessarily mean everyone dies. You True, know? right? And it would <laughs> it'll also attract attention. Yeah. Yeah. Attention. Uh, attention. Yeah, yeah. Attention. yeah, yeah. I mean, the the ring of the alarm already did, which. You know, almost caused oh, some God. deaths. Oh God! Like so I'm right. dead. But hold on. But hold on a second. Yeah. I got two yeah. stabs in the heart. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, what else? Did you like um. Quinn? What else did I like? I don't know. I like the whole thing. I I will. I love the <laughs> what show. Else? What else? What else? I don't know. What else? <laughs> I like it. I like the show. No. Um. I will say one like bittersweet thing was was the Glenn killing his first kill. Yeah. Like that yeah. was. You liked it or you didn't like? I it? like. Well, I love Glenn, and yeah. it, you knew it was going to have to happen. Right. Glenn can't go through this whole thing and not kill anyone. Right. So it just sucked. It was like. It was like a bittersweet moment, and then he took one for Heath, right? Yeah. And then after that, it was just like balls out. Just yeah. Murder, murder, murder. Yeah. So, I, 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 that, you know. I agree with you, because I oftentimes feel that Glenn is kind of like the voice of reason where he does things that he feels is right for like the most mm-hmm. majority. So when he had to kill, it was mm-hmm. like, oh, okay, this is a shift. And Glenn's like, we right. have no choice. Yeah, but Glenn's killing this. people, you know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah they've hit their it's limit of what they're yeah. going to do. Glenn has always been on this show right. that like he knows what needs to be done. It takes him a little while to get there, but he knows he has yeah. to do mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Um, because it, voice of reason, yes, but uh, I think more so that Glenn, uh, he's he's like a little bit of a glue. Where Rick can like fly off the handle, Glenn, yeah. is ne- mm-hmm. Glenn has always been exactly. even. Like, listen. Yeah. We're gonna have to kill a bunch of people. Maybe I don't have to do it personally, but I know that eventually I'm gonna have to put a knife in a temple. Yeah. So here we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, he, he, he's an interesting guy because of what you're saying, Josh is right. He is kind of the glue. It's not. It's kind of like an understood thing with him that he is the conscience. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He is that of the show, and he still manages to be a very supportive and strong husband for, exactly. for Maggie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, ma- like a lot of guys would be like, "You're not going anywhere because you're pregnant." Blah blah blah. Right. But they have that conversation at the dinner table, and and you know, he's like, "No, I got mm-hmm. this. Is my one." Woman. She's a warrior. I gotta let her be her, but right. I'm gonna try to. Mm-hmm. But I, and I gotta do me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's it's kind of that's not a lot. A lot of people do that. And that's that's that speaks to the character of Glenn. He's yeah. very much a big picture guy. Yep. And it's a, very very yes. rarely a small small thing. You know what The Walking Love Dead Glenn. does, yeah. and why I think it's so revered by both men and women is it's one of few television shows outside of like Sopranos maybe that. The female characters are stronger in many sense than, yeah. than the male yep. characters. Absolutely, the, the females in this show are badass. Yep. Like you, there are many shows where you're like, I think I like Carol more than Rick. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Yeah. yeah, sure. I'm it's absolutely just, yeah. Team Carol. Like I've been Team yeah. Carol from the from day one. Maybe, yeah. from day maybe one. When she made the turn, when she made the turn, I was Team I Carol. Know. I think I think yeah. that shifted, but season one she was a little bit of a. Oh no! Well, and right. That's what I'm saying. As soon as she shifted, oh, okay. I was Team <laughs> Carol. Yeah, because yeah. I was well, yeah. like, this is a journey we're gonna enjoy mm. going on. And, Oh, I'm sorry. When at the end, I don't know if we're skipping ahead, but at the, this is something I liked. At the end, mm. when they get when Carol and Maggie get taken, my first thought was, "Oh man, I'm scared for those women who took them." So yeah. Carol gets free. Oh, right. yeah. She's yeah. going to murder them. Yeah, right. A, a lot. She's I want to see that happen. Much. Yeah. So. yeah. Well, okay. So the things I, I enjoyed yeah. the relationship stuff as well. I thought it was interesting. We got we got Morgan and Rick. 
which we've been talking about on the recap show a couple times, the butting of the heads, like mm -hmm. someone challenging Rick's authority. We knew Morgan was going to be the guy. Who knows what he's making? Right. Yeah, at what welding is that? there at the end. Who knows what he's Why making? Why is he crying there? about it? Yeah. Not Morgan. Because he's, I don't know what he's going to do. He is uh, like hormonally emotional. Like <laughs> that guy. He's unstable. He's Christ. a swinger. He, he's he, a swinger. He's yeah. a pendulum swinger in terms mm -hmm. of emotion. Get in there in with a stick of... and start beating some people yeah, down. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta, you got to get in the pit and start to love someone. Yeah. 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 Even, <laughs> Gabriel, yeah. even Gabriel stepped up Rock. and, and started like, like, did what had to be done. Like If Gabriel mm -hmm. can do it, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, you yeah. should be able to do it, Morgan. Yeah, I mean, did we have that scene? Maybe we, mm -hmm. my favorite thing tonight, the thing I like most, was Gabriel killing that dude. Yeah, finally pulling his weight. I finally Fine. wasn't yeah. mad at him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Father badass, machine gun yeah. priest. <laughs> machine, yeah, right, machine. Yeah, yeah. And, and for him to say the quotes, the scripture quotes, yeah, yep. and then end it with an amen, amen when he killed him. You're like, okay, I mean, that, that was as close to okay. Sam Jackson as you're gonna yeah. get. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, was, yeah. it was pretty awesome. Yeah, uh, but then we had we had Carol and we we talked about the Carol and Tobin romance. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be interesting to see how that plays out. The Rosita and Abraham stuff, like we can't stress that enough because of what you were saying, Josh, earlier. You said how this is like they're rebuilding the world. They're right. they're the real emotions. This is real emotions going on. Like that happens. Sometimes romance, which you were saying romance, it's, it's even messy. Yeah. Like he's in love with Sasha. He realized that, that he was in love with her. And he doesn't know how to handle leaving Rosita because in his mind, maybe Rosita was just, like he said, was, I thought you were the he last woman on the, the world. Like, yeah. well, but here's yeah. the thing too. He treated her like a piece. Yeah. He treated her like a piece instead yeah. of like somebody hey, cared that's about. That's true though, yeah. yeah. That but was it, brutal. It's not like, you know, he breaks up with Rosita and he's like, well, good luck. Maybe we'll see each other. <laughs> right? There's only 40 people and I'm yeah. 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 Let's get coffee her. sometime. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, it's like, he's going to have to work with her again. Yeah. Right? Like it's, it's so weird that he would choose that tactic. Yeah. I mean, there's never a good time to break up with a woman or a man. So obviously they had to do it then. And she took it like a champ. She's like, well, whatever. I got to move on. I don't know if she took it like a champ. Sure no, she, she did. Yeah, she was about to. She's about to do with Carol. She's no, about to out she Carol. Did, she did her cry, but like in the middle of the episode, she was already like, "Well, That's I got to refocus." Carol's working on her romance blog. You know? <laughs> it's, uh, it ended pretty good. Yeah, she kind of no. put part. Carol on blast almost. Amicably, it's fine. Um, we're fine. Yeah. yeah. Then we have Tara, the Tara and Doctor Denise relationship. That's the one I don't buy. Okay. okay. And I don't know if it's. Um, excuse me. The, well, we'll I'm get sure to the negatives in a second. Great I'm actresses, just, but yeah. Okay. Oh, is that your positive? Yeah, it's one of my positives because okay. I like really? the idea that we're Ooh. furthering. I know I like this idea that we're furthering relationships, and they <clears> dropped <throat> a little nugget and said it's been weeks. So that's how yeah. we're accepting, like we're shown all this yeah. kind of mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. Time is passing without ex without a super right. telling us that it's passing. So it's so we're being asked to consume these relationships. Sure. It's truth. Well, and so, I think that people you are realizing still, that if yeah. uh, they need to say what they need to say right now. Yeah, it's like sure. you know, it's, right. There's a sense of urgency there. So I think when you you know feel like you love somebody you gotta say it because it's not like yeah, you, you might die you yeah. might die tomorrow yeah. which so. is nice and but it's not like <laughs> which that, is nice but it's not like that not the, you know not the death part optimist <laughs> view on the world like today is like you never know when you could go so treat every day like shark week do you know what i mean but like <laughs> legit <laughs> legit here in this world is like every day you're like crap i'm probably gonna die today. literally yeah. Shark week. Yeah. yeah the other thing the other thing i liked obviously the, oh, we already covered the attack and we're going to talk about that more yeah. probably but the 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 changing Carol is an interesting for those of us who've been such a fan of Carol the badass yeah. to see her all of a sudden start to embrace a little like more of her acorn cookies yeah her maternal instincts yeah. and then have Tobin have that conversation with her and say that's the reason you do these hardcore shit yeah because you're a mother like that's that's a logical line yeah. of of conversation to have because yeah it's mother bear what well, we talk about uh, yeah. you know uh, you know protecting the bear cubs yeah. you know that kind of stuff and that's what she's been doing this whole time and in, in, in her mind oh. yeah. and so to see her protect try to protect maggie and we see that it leads to them getting captured it's an interesting like will that be the last time she tries to be maternal has she learned her lesson right i mean we'll find out in the but next I, episode i, I mean i yeah. wouldn't blame her for the capture of maggie oh there's no blame but like them having the them having the back and forth the confrontation yeah, yeah. yeah stops yeah. the advancement yeah yeah but they were still they were ducks. literally like a couple steps away from their truck they would have been caught anyway unless they moved no they were moving that's the thing Ma they, Ma carol stopped maggie from moving yeah but like they were heading out that's what i'm yeah. saying like if they if they were still the truck and not moving they would have gotten right that's true yes absolutely all right, well, let's let's get to the stuff uh, we didn't like. Uh, well, Kyle, you want to start? Mean, yeah. Just, you don't like the De Denise? That romance. I'm just not, not buying it. it. Okay. Like, I, I, there even no when they there. were kissing, like, oh, okay. you could tell these two were like, yeah. I don't want to kiss now, each yeah. other. Oh, it right. says kiss in the script. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at that now. the kiss part now. <laughs> you guys are All right, tonight. that's done. <laughs> They're both brutal but tonight. I think, but honestly, I think that that might have been my my only negative. Yeah, me too. That like scene. There's something about the girl. That that plays the doctor, that that actress, with the character yeah. that that they've written for her, Doctor yeah. Denise, yeah, is just weak. 
I, yeah. I don't. She, she every time something happens, I feel like a body gets rushed in an ER. If she was the doctor, she'd be like the young intern on Grey's Anatomy, like fainted and like you know get better, you'll learn. And then she kicked off at the end of the season. Like this girl, <laughs> just I don't understand. I I just don't really like her. Especially yeah. in yeah. contrast with like Maggie and Carol Correct. and all these like crazy like hardcore women. Right. And then yeah, the weak ones right. is kind of like. Mm. I mean, there it's was like a glimmer of hope for me for her. I think it was with season the premiere. With or was, the wolf? Yeah, with the yeah. wolf, mm -hmm. but. It's just not, she's not a strong character. And that's fine. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be a strong character to have us like you. But yeah. as a whole, there's just yeah. like, what are you doing? It's missing. It's, a, yeah. it's, it's kind yeah. of vague. Well, she did save Coral. Yeah, yeah, she did, did say coral. coral. That's, that's, that's true. true. No. Wash your eye hole. Yeah. Coral. Wash your eye hole. <laughs> but like, um, but oh what's interesting about Doctor Denise? <laughs> what's interesting about Doctor Denise? Go rinse your eye hole. Is, is that is that what well, we we got it for the dramatic narrative of the show? You got to have people that are not necessarily all badasses, that is true. or else it would just be a one through line. The whole mm -hmm. it would just be this one way yeah. show. One like way. like we saw with the priest. The priest kind of got redeemed, and we've been waiting almost two seasons yeah. since for his for yeah. his ass to yeah. get redeemed as a badass. And Rick and, and like he finally. He's been on his own journey. He, mm -hmm. he betrayed Rick mm -hmm. yeah. to to, uh, to, um, to Deanna. Yeah, to Deanna. Yep. And so, so there's possibility. So, she's she has to do. She's a doctor. So her her job is to you know be the softer one, be the protective one, be these kinds of things. And so you might you might actually be right that her character is annoying as hell. Well, but I, but I think she's serving the dramatic narrative of I the mean, show. Okay. Every rose someone's got a thorn. Yeah, True. someone's got to bounce necessary against. Necessary for the. I don't. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what doctors you have, but my doctors aren't soft and sweet. My doctors are hard and just really? straight to the point and assertive. Oh. Yeah. They well, my doctor Watson, we take learned, care we of me. We learned a lot about Cody great. tonight, right? <laughs> we learned bit. she hates romance. <laughs> <laughs> she got her hard doctors, ass doctors. Her doctors are hard. Our, like, Corey goes <laughs> into prisons to visit hard ass doctors. But I will say, my biggest negative. Feel better. Get better. Better. My biggest negative in this episode is I'm sorry, but Morgan. Oh yeah, Always. Yeah. everything Always. around him. Uh, he Agreed. Would, okay. uh, he almost saved himself last half of last uh, of this <laughs> the last previous half of the season. Did mm -hmm. I say it right? Anyway, mm -hmm. when he had a whole episode about why he is the way he is, why he doesn't want to kill anyone. Mm -hmm. yeah. But there comes a point when you just need to stop trying to have everyone think the way you think. You're one person, Yeah. Mm -hmm. no one else thinks like that, not the enemies, so just stop. The entire world loves pizza. Ugh. Morgan's out there going like, nobody likes pizza. Ugh. Just I was like, accept it, yeah. you're gonna have to. I, when they reintroduced Morgan at the, like, the season finale last year, I'm like, yes, we're getting Morgan back. I thought he was awesome in season mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Like one of the cool parts of the opening six episodes of this entire series was Morgan, and they bring him back and he's just a lame, Duck. Yep. I, I just think it's it's just not fun. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's Rick a, a has bad... to have somebody question him all the time. There has sure. to be somebody. Has to be. It just sucks at him all the time, and he's not. <laughs> yeah. I don't know anybody who's on his side. If, if somebody's watching and they're on his side, please let's talk about it because, yeah. like, I. Like when I, he, I don't not agree. even Ethan was on his side. No, Ethan nobody's on his side. Around. And yeah. and he tells Carol like you you're just as much at fault as I am. And she's like, uh, wait, what? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, like you farted in the elevator. It's your responsibility yeah. that it stinks. Okay, so take care of it. <laughs> I was uh, trying to kill the wolf in the elevator. Yeah. You went ahead and farted. Yeah, in the <laughs> and kept him alive. He's, uh, like Buzz, he's like Buzz Killington. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He Seriously. really is. Oh, that's perfect. That's actually. And that is what we shall call him from now on. Has been dubbed Buzz Killington. My 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 only negative in the the show was. Uh, it, was, it was a nitpicky thing, which is I wanted to see more of Jesus. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I've really grown to, to absolutely, absolutely love this character. Mm -hmm. The actor playing him, great casting. Yes, mm -hmm. the actor mm -hmm. playing him and the the scenes they put him in, awesome. Does great work. Yep. He does real nice, subtle, great work. And there's not a moment where you don't believe his eyes no. or mm -hmm. what he's saying. And when I he, enjoy that. When he put when his, he put the, yeah exactly. Oh, like, oh. It's go time. Yeah, let's get weird. <laughs> yeah. It's like Stallone well, and over the top when he turns the hat around. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I was like, oh, I believe in romance right now. What about you, Quinn? Do you have anything negative? Um, other than Morgan, not really. I I okay. really like this episode. Yeah, I love episode. the the action heavy episodes, dude. They make yeah. you so happy. They're yeah. so fun to watch. I I mean, I was this isn't a negative. I was surprised though that nobody died. Yeah, yeah. Like mm -hmm. I thought maybe somebody like just somebody was, would get like hurt at least yeah. a little bit or something. But uh, well, I, I was really surprised. it was pretty zero dark thirty. Yeah, 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 yeah dude. Yeah. That's a great call. That's a great call. You yeah. said that in the room. That's perfect yeah. call, brother. Yeah. yeah. The, and all the overacting day players got killed. So mm -hmm. th that was true. So that was but let's, <laughs> but let's let's open that up because I think if we don't have too many negatives, let's discuss the uh, what happened at the end. Like this whole idea, they they straight up murdered these people. Like sure. they're asking us as an audience. Like we've followed them for six six and a half seasons now. Yeah. But they straight up murdered they're, these yeah. people in their sleep. They've definitely like. Yeah, they've they've yeah. turned a corner here, and that's what I'm saying. Like, how did that make you guys feel? Like, were you guys okay with that? I mean, it, the show the, made it, the show made a point to make it seem uncomfortable. Yeah. So. Well, here's the thing: is like, okay, 
is Rick's group right? Is Negan's group right? We're really kind of graying this area now because they're going in and, you know, straight up cold bloody killing. Right. Which seems like it's their only option. The right. way that Rick presents it and the group presents it, this is their only option. Right. Which is true, but who's the villain now? Who's the yeah. enemy? Are they their own enemy? Are yeah. there, or, you know, because killing is killing no matter when it is in what world. Yes, we understand you have okay, to do it. Okay, Morgan. But, no, <laughs> <you're right. laughs> but the straight Burn. up killing, I'm, listen, I'd be on Rick's team. I'd be stabbing yeah. anybody, but. I'd be slow stabbing temples as well. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's a new Adele song, okay, slow well, stabbing temples. <laughs> <laughs> the way that Negan's group has been presented to Rick's group and, and the audience the so world, far yeah. has been in a negative way in a negative light. I mean, they, yeah. they're, they captured that guy's brother. Yeah. Um, they, when, after Glenn kills that guy and he feels awful, he looks up and sees those Polaroids of them. Yeah, right. Like above your bed, you have yeah. like, you know, that's your artwork. People, you, yeah, sure. you've mutilated. You couldn't get a Melrose yeah. Place poster yeah. or something. <laughs> 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 like you, they, so I think that that is kind of like setting it up so that we're not like, oh, they're just like killing these people. There's no like Boz poster. Blood, yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. I think that that's, it, it still, it still puts you on Rick's team. I yeah, think. but this is the deal. And this is what I kept thinking as I was watching this. We all, this is all hearsay. They're getting all their feelings about Negan and the Saviors from what Xander Berkeley told them in, in the governor's mansion. Gregory? Oh, Gregory, <laughs> fine, fine. Well, what Gregory told them in the, in the mansion. Yeah. They have no evidence of this sure. other than just the conversation and the attack on and Gregory. And they trust Jesus. But, right, and they trust Jesus. But then again, I mean, Jesus has never been in the compound from what I understand or else he would have been mapping things out for them yeah. instead of that guy they got. Yeah. So this is an interesting thing. We're going on the hearsay based on an attack and the situation. And this is sometimes all you have to go on in situations. Yeah. So you have yeah. to act proactively to stay alive. Yeah. That's the thing, all the social norms that Morgan is embracing or trying to make everybody aware of, yeah. they, they're fading away. They really don't exist anymore. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So we're watching it from our own normal, comfortable life, watching them stab people in the head yeah. in their sleep going, man, is it, am I okay with this? And, and like, cheering you it don't, on. Yeah, but yeah. you don't know what, what it's like to be there. I mean, yeah, I think I think it's really intense that they totally pulled a 180, but it's yeah. been a long time and they've come across a lot of different groups of people That's that true. they have tried yeah. to give the benefit yes. of the doubt. True. And true. because Very of that, true. they've lost a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And so when they're faced with uh, Jesus's team, they've got to pick a side. If they decide to trust Jesus, they can't, be like, hold up, let's yeah. see what's going on here no, at this point. Like, and they don't have a lot of time to do that. Yeah. To like yeah. assess Correct. all like, you know, avenues or And whatever. if they betray yeah. Jesus or or the, the other, the Hilltop clan or whatever, there's no like, okay, listen, we may think this is yeah. a bad thing. We're going to go back to Alexandria. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah. Good luck with everything. Yeah. That doesn't happen. Everybody, you die. Yeah. Yeah. You're in or you're out. Yeah, it's from like their gang experience, war. they just know. Yeah. Yeah. And also, I mean, we're six seasons in. It It, it is going to evolve eventually. Right. It's yeah. not, they, keep, they can't just keep going to communities and like assessing and then like, you know what I mean? Like that, that story has happened a lot so I think that this is like stepping it up mm -hmm. yeah well it was interesting the, the way they have Rick giving that sermon in the church with the stained glass window behind yeah. him and the, and the cross I mean and not that he's a savior it's more like he's almost like a, a, a what do you call it one of those de demagogues or evangelical guys right. that's preaching this kind of stuff and and rallying them to do these kinds of acts based on the few, f mm -hmm. based on the idea that this is how we eat right mm -hmm. now th what I'm saying with the killing is this is a slippery slope because mm -hmm. oh, yeah. in another perspective from someone else's perspective those guys are Negan and the saviors yeah oh yeah in yeah, there totally. if you're watching this from the outside and you're another group watching this happening like the guy said to Rick he said I'm scared. I, those guys are crazy, but they got nothing no. on you. Oh, you yeah. mean when, that, Rick yeah, the, when Rick punched the zombie the, head yeah, the zombie in the face? Yeah, dude. I mean, I, 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 this I, is logical I, shit. No. <laughs> I completely agree with you that it is a slippery slope, but it's yeah. also a slippery slope if they chose the other way and said, yes. let's give them the benefit of doubt. Absolutely. I would have been like, do you really want to do this again? Yep. Yeah. Haven't yeah. you learned no, your lesson? So, yeah. Exactly. But this Correct. is what I like about the show. Yeah, it's what like. It's giving you, There's all. it's like choose your own adventure. Like, I don't know where I'm going to go. Exactly. But either way, it's fraught with peril. And we know which way Quinn and I are going. Kill, 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 all day long. Spears, spears. Spears, spears long spears, spears, short spears, spears in the head. I keep on temple stabbing. <laughs> all right, so there we go. That's all the stuff. That I think we've covered everything on the yeah. show. Yeah. I will say, some, we, haven't, we haven't said it enough, but I want everybody to know out there that tonight we heard the greatest line uttered in TV history. Yes. Oh. Why are dingleberries brown? Because that's the way shit is. That's the way uh, shit incredible, is incredible. I loved it. <laughs> all right, Josh, you want to get us some yeah, Twitter I'm questions? pulling up some tweets uh, Just to let you guys know, if when you guys send us Twitter questions, we like you to use the hashtag Collider Walking Dead. Helps us pull it up quickly. Helps us be one of those ones that we might select and talk about on the show. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Josh, let's break it sure, down. Sure, sure, sure. So, uh, question one comes from at 
Boo Five Bill at ah. Boo Five Bill. Thoughts on Gabriel killing the poor man's Ron Perlman? Kind of we kind of covered, but Father Gabriel. Yeah, Father Gabriel. Yeah, it was. It's a turn. Yeah. yeah. Right. It, he wears the priest collar. I bet you there's some people in the got a little you know, blood little, on that white. Yeah, yeah, yeah a little blood I on like that. A little blood it's, on the camera yeah. later too. It's yeah. kind of it's kind of ironic that we're talking about death. And, oh my God, they're killing people. But once the priest did it, we're like. All right, you're on our team again. I yeah. know, that's true. It's, that's sad, but that's how it was. It I'm is, sorry. yeah. He had to do that in order to, because he's just been, yeah, he's been like flip-flopping this whole time. We don't know where he stands on anything, so this finally like solidified yeah. that yeah. Gabriel's part of the, the group and he'll do what needs to be done now. Like yes. does Rick now, I mean, I know Rick has, it's taken him a while to like sort of trust and he, he, they, every time they ask him, he's like, I'm here, aren't I, right? Yeah. I think finally, because he killed this dude, he's he's flipped and now he's, you know, machine gun priest, man. It's, who priest. was it that said, oh, why do you, why are you still wearing that? Because that was funny. That was Rick. Yeah. That was, was Rick, Rick. yeah. 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 <laughs> What's ironic in our bloodlust that we, we want him to <laughs> kill and he's a priest. Like yeah. it's ironic, right? But it's because of the way they constructed the character yeah. that he let right. all those people, all his followers, die right. and mm -hmm. become zombies when he and when he boarded up the church. Yeah. So in our minds, he's never been a full-on priest who did the right thing at the right time. No. He's always had questionable morality mm -hmm. and uh, at times a survivalist mentality that a priest should not have. So well, just... we've been waiting for him to make that turn because he's not as clean as he thinks he is. Mm -hmm. so no, was... Rick and his people all brought him in and then he turned on them. Yeah. Yep. So, I mean, after that, we were kind of, I, I was done with them. Yeah. yeah. I was like, why is he still yeah. here? Yeah. Putting this is the up. least he could do. Mm -hmm. You better kill more people. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> Start killing. Uh, okay, next Terrence one. Phillip, I got the blood list. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, at Comic Book Films, what's next for Glenn after his first two kills? <laughs> Oh, more deaths. Glenn, what's next? He finds uh, the armory and he kills a bunch more people <laughs> right away. Four more people to death. Which, by the way, I, it wasn't a moment that I didn't like, but the fact that those people just like ran towards the door knowing they had the machine armory? guns, and they're like, right. uh, yeah. oh, bullets, where are these coming from? Dude, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, I think now, Glenn. He, I mean, I, I, I think he's an emotional nightmare. Yep. Now his girl's getting kidnapped. He's finally like murdered a bunch of people. Oh, he's going through a Ooh, personal yes, journey. Yes, I wonder if this is going to be a character change for Glenn. Uh, possibly, but I think also there's a guilt factor involved in this at some point. Glenn is, like you guys have said, Glenn is the conscience of the show. Yeah. If you start to make him a cold-blooded murderer, which is what that was, I don't care what your reasons are, mm -hmm. that's cold-blooded murder. Yeah. Uh, I wonder where this takes him emotionally because mm -hmm. there have been so dark many place. right and there's so many rumors about him and now Maggie's captured does he go full on you know Rambo yeah. or what we don't know I think he's going to try to stay reasonable up until um he sees Maggie or something happens with them again right. but by the way just did you guys notice when they came out of the vault with all the guns and stuff the guy that was still alive like slow he was like I'm gonna kill you it's like oh dude you guys have plenty of time to let's go at this yeah. <laughs> yeah there's always that one guy that you they <gasps> focus in on him yep. and they're gonna kill him yeah uh, oh uh, that was Rose oh no that was Jesus who got him yeah Jesus yeah. got him um, okay finally uh, at Hayu underscore La uh, that's kind of hard to read. Sorry if I just butchered that. Uh, who's the girl at the end, and does she have any relationship with Negan? I think that's a pretty good question because huh. we like. Yeah. Does she, or is she been like following them, or is she part of Negan's crew? I think she's well, probably we don't Negan's, know. Negan's like, crew. GF. Yeah. Oh, well, is that she? Had, she was had that walkie-talkie connected to that guy on the mm -hmm. bike. Oh uh, right. Yeah. Okay. So okay. She's in the crew. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that guy was, I guess, going out there to confront them anyway. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Because because he had the walkie on, he was going to deliver the message. But what an idiot other. to go in with with Daryl's bike though. Like, that's yeah. true. <laughs> yeah. Take Daryl's bike. What if she's like the Carol of their group could be. Then oh, what? Carol versus Carol, ultimate yeah. celebrity death match. I'm in, dude. Death. Yeah, I I'm mean, also in. <laughs> it was all women that captured the women. Yeah, yeah. So that's showing you, like you, again, you were mentioning earlier, this show there's so many the so badass well. so women good. that are on this show. We're seeing it again. It's, yeah. it's pretty cool to see. Yeah. yeah. All right. What's the next? That's it. Is that, is there only two there, questions. No, three. three. Oh, it was three. What was Come on, John. Third one was just are the guy was the girl. Well, was the one we just asked answered. Was it's the, the scar, guys. It's cutting, off his <laughs> it's cutting off the circulation. I picked the wrong week to stop sm sniffing glue. <laughs> <All right. laughs> well, uh, that's. I think that we've covered the show. That's everything sure. we've got. Um, guys, thanks so much for watching, and uh, we always appreciate your comments and your tweets and everything like that. Let's go around the room and tell everybody uh, where they can find you. Quinn, please. Dude. Uh, you can find me at <laughs> at, uh, at Quinn Marie underscore on Twitter. Let's talk Walking Dead. I think you More should things. change your name to at Quinn Marie Kills People. Yeah. 
Or at, at Quinry Loves Murder. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. That'd be weird. At Quinry Stabbing Temples. <laughs> right, and to the right. Hey, you guys can follow me right down there at The Walking Dead. There we go. At Kaori is on Twitter, Instagram, twitch.tv if you want to see me stream some video games, and YouTube at Kaori is everywhere. So. Wild man. You guys can find me where dangleberries lie. No, uh, <laughs> at Josh McCuga, Twitter, Instagram, uh, YouTube.com, slash Between the Sheets TV, and the Arrow Recap Show here on Collider. Uh, y'all can find me hanging out on the satellite with the savior, <laughs> so the dead savior bodies. Uh, at The Roca Says on Twitter and on Instagram, always posting about the stuff that I'm hosting or the stuff that I'm guesting on. Uh, I'll be on Movie Talk tomorrow. So if you're watching tonight, you can see me on Collider Movie Talk tomorrow. So it's very posting nice and hosting. John posting Roker. and hosting. Always a nice thing. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. And please, uh, like we said, subscribe to the channel, leave comments, send us your tweets. We always love corresponding with you guys. And we will see you all next week. <laughs>